Hey guys, Mr. B here, bringing you another little short little video on uh, slope formula. Uh, so, for those of you who don't know what the slope formula is, basically the slope formula allows you to find the slope of a line uh, given two points. So if we have something, two points on a line, x1, y1, and x2, y2, all the slope formula is, and the symbol we use for slope is m, is y2 subtract y1 all over x2 subtract x1. So the slope formula is really straightforward to use, but it does have a, a lot of applications. Um, slope, of course, um, is the beginning of calculus. Um, slope of a tangent line basically is, is the beginning of differential calculus. Of course, it gets a lot more complicated than that. But it is a really important concept to understand the slope of a line. So let's do a couple of quick examples. This video is going to be pretty short. So this is given the two points, negative 5 and 2, and 3 and negative 2, um, that are on the line, find the slope of the line. So um, a lot of people like to label these points. So if you want to call, say, call this one x1, y1, and then x2, y2. It wouldn't really matter if you called this point right here um, x2, y2. It really doesn't matter as long as you're consistent with, you know, the first point is 1 and 1, and the other point is 2 and 2. That's all that really matters. So, slope is equal to y2 subtract y1, x2 subtract x1. Make sure you're careful with your negatives. Um, so, um, y2 is negative 2, y1 is 2, divide it by, and then I have x2 is 3, and x1 is negative 5, so you've got to be careful that's subtracting a negative. So let's put that negative in brackets. So that's going to be negative 4, all divided by 3, subtract negative, the same as adding. So that's going to be 8, or negative 1 half. So the slope of the line that goes through those two points is negative 1 half. All right, let's try one more. So it says given the two points, 3, 2, and negative 5, and 2, find the slope of the line. So again x1, y1, uh, x2, y2. Sometimes you might want to pick, you know, what, what way you want to subtract them, so you might switch the labeling. Uh, but, I mean, if you're comfortable with neg subtracting and adding negatives, it really doesn't make a difference. So we have m is equal to y2 subtract y1 all over x2 subtract x1. And that's going to be y2 is 2, y1 is 2. I'll divide by x2 is negative 5, subtract 3, so we end up with 0 over um, negative 8, which of course is still just 0. So this is actually, anytime you have a slope of 0, this is actually a horizontal line. So, horizontal line. So it's just basically, um, you know, a flat line, sort of like this. And its equation can actually be found by looking at the y-coordinate. So the y-coordinate of both points is the same. So my equation of this line was actually just be y is equal to 2. Um, if you're wondering what, what happens with the vertical line, well, the vertical line um, just goes up and down, of course. And its slope is considered to be undefined. So the slope of a vertical line is undefined. Essentially because when you subtract... Uh, you'll have the same x coordinate, so you have 0 on the bottom, so division by 0. Um, and its equation is given by x is equal to whatever the x coordinate that it goes through. So that's not a 0, that's just a. Here we go, let's put a blank there instead. Um, so hopefully this helps. Short little video. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to ask. I'll see you guys in class.